we are back to do some connecting, but before we do that, it's really important that you smooth all your edges. So I've cut out my pieces, the back, the front, and the two wheel wells. And now I'm just going through and very carefully, I'm just gonna smooth my edges because again, please don't forget that in ceramics, you need to have smooth edges or they get very, very sharp. So I'm kind of using a combination of my finger in those sort of hard to reach places and a sponge. I'm seeing that there's cut right here needs to be fixed. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to just get your finger in there and other times if it's a long stretch like this bottom area, you can just use your sponge. You just have to be careful not to break any of these pieces. You want this center here cut out, but you want it connected down here at the wheel. So be careful when you cut your pattern out. All right. So I'm going around the whole thing, including the interior of this window, and I'm going to clean this window up just a little bit from my previous cut. There we go. There we go. Careful not to disturb your texture along this top part of the car. You don't want to, um, you, you just want to be very, very careful with the sponge, especially at this section because you don't want to get rid of your beautiful texture you just laid in. Sometimes a rubber tip tool will work in those hard to reach areas. These guys are easy. I can just pick these guys up and smooth the front and the back of them. And then we're ready to attach. All right. These are fun to decorate. Eventually, um, you can put a word at the bottom. So, oops. Um, this one has the word harvest. Some people like to put their family name here. Um, this one has a leaf and a pumpkin also stamped in, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. And then we'll put some lines into our tree. But first, let's go ahead and score. So I'm going to dip my serrated edge into my water, and I'm going to start with this guy. As I flip him over, I'm also going to smooth the back side of, back side of him so he's not sharp as I lay him down. You can also flip this guy over and smooth the back side of him. I would very much suggest that. If you don't do it at this stage, you'll do it um, when it's a little bit drier, and that's fine if you want to wait a little bit. Fixing that corner. Fixing this corner. And again, sometimes it's easier to use your finger, depending on the area that you're trying to smooth. Try not to add too much water, though, because you do want these pieces to be on the leather hard stage for sure. Okay, carefully. There we go. All right, I'm going to dip into my water and I'm gonna score this front part of the truck really, really well all the way through. Be very careful on this thin piece that's got the cutout for the window on it. But you want the whole thing scored well. You don't want any issues with the attaching. I like to go both directions, it just makes the connection stronger, and if it's a wide area like this, it's easy to do, so I go for it. Okay, very good. Get some slip on there. And this is going to mark the area on this back side so that I know where to score here. So we're gonna line this guy up. And 
and he's gonna he is gonna come off the back a little bit so you'll see the background and you can make some adjustments if you want I would recommend doing this later on after you've taken a good nice look at it um, but that looks okay to me so when I lift it it'll leave behind a mark and that's where I know I need to score go and a little bit of slip on the back part of the truck and now we will attach I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer so you can kind of see what's going on here a little better. There we go. So once I've lined it up where I want it to be, and you, you can see that the back side is definitely showing past the front part of the car. And so I'm going to find the placement that I like. And when I'm happy with the placement, which I think I'm happy right there with it, I'm going to press down. Use a flat hand so that you're not getting fingerprints in your clay and you're not disturbing the texture. So I just use the palm of my hand and gently press. And then of course I'm going to come through with my rubber tip tool and seal all my connections. Make sure there are no gaps left anywhere here. You can use a rubber tip tool, you can use a wet paintbrush, whatever you feel is more comfortable for you. Um, I often will use both. Don't forget the inside of the window. And now we have gone around and sealed all our edges and we're ready to proceed to the next step. 